Hi, everyone. I'm going to take a few minutes to show you a really cool program that I use quite a bit in my online teaching. It's called Audacity, and it helps you make audio recordings. So let's turn to my other screen here. Um, so here's a student view of the online course that I'm currently teaching. You'll notice that I've got a little uh, introduction to the week right below my banner image. And this is where I like to insert audio. So for example, in this unit, you'll see the very first element is a minute long audio track. And in this audio track, I'm actually just reading the content below here. I also like to include audio for my assignment descriptions and my course content itself. So in my uh, assignment, typically what I'll do is a little audio icon, a message if you're in the mood to listen rather than read, click here. When students click there, they access an audio file that I've posted to the web. So you might be asking yourself, well, what's the point of this? Why are you doing that, investing all of this time in creating audio? for your online courses. The Universal Design for Learning framework really stresses the importance of multiple means of representation. So when you're communicating content, they're suggesting that you provide multiple options for perception, such as providing alternatives for audio as well as visual. So in an online course, if you've ever taken one, you've probably experienced the uh, text-heavy nature of the courses. And this doesn't serve all students well. Um, my students have told me that, yes, they do, in fact, click on and use these tracks. Some students will just listen. Others will listen and read. I've had students tell me that um, listening along really humanizes the online course experience for them because they feel like an educator is actually speaking to them directly. I've had students tell me that the audio supplement has been really beneficial for them uh, learning a Canadian accent and getting familiar with the ways that we pronounce uh, the English language. And so there's a few different benefits, um, but certainly no detriment to adding audio into your tech-enabled courses. 